Hey folks, this is Ham the Guinness Gamer here, bringing you episode 9 of my Civ 6 Complete Beginner's Guide. Starting right where we left off, I've just hit next turn and this lady, she Lady 6 guy, has come up and she is looking to trade with me. Now this is something we haven't discussed before, but the more civs that you encounter, the more opportunity you will have to trade. Um, almost everything with them you know in this case she is looking to buy 20 of my horses from me and um, now I'm sure I'm actually capped on horses at the minute Um, I didn't look there just before the screen come up but uh, I've had horses for quite a while and I haven't spent any of them yes if we look here strategic resources 50 for, uh, for horses here I have uh, it's obviously the 50 is, is the amount I have but that's the cap so I might as well give her them because I'm getting two horses per turn I'm not using any so in another 10 turns I'll have replenished the 20 that she's looking so I might as well take the gold that she's looking one thing to note you know from an economic point of view I might as well take this deal if she was beside me and there's a chance that she is planning on declaring war on me um, she it would be an idea not to accept this because she's actually going to use my own hard bred horses against me which uh, wouldn't be ideal but in this case I don't think she is her, her capital is quite a distance away from me so it should be okay for now but you can also trade you know if you look through here you can trade gold as she's given me you can trade diplomatic favor which I'll, I'll get into later what that is and um, you can trade luxury resources you can trade strategic resources you can trade cities if you wanted to um, and you can also give each other open border so that you can travel through each other's area but for now I'm happy enough to accept her deal and I'll just take her gold more or less for free um because as I say if you look up here at the top I now have 30 out of 50 horses because I've sold her 20 but I'm getting two per turn so as I say in 10 turns they'll be replenished um now it has actually skipped forward there um where we are now is Frankfurt our builder um Right, I'm gonna I'm gonna get him to actually upgrade this quarry. I might as well um get him to do that, to build a quarry. Uh this guy is healing, so let him heal a bit longer. Um what's happening is my this city is being flipped, but I should be able to now that we've got extra gold from Lady Six Guy there, I mentioned the last time about rushing um cutting down forests to give me production so i want to rush this government plaza i want to get this built as quickly as possible because in six turns my city's gonna revolt whereas if i get this up and going now 27 turns at the minute but if i get this up and going it will help a lot with that now i have came across a bit of gold there i have enough now for me to build a, a builder or purchase should I say purchase a builder I'm gonna purchase a builder here in this city and I will show you why next turn but as I say it's to chop forests and to help with uh, the production of that so 27 turns plaza um, other thing is before I hit next turn as well I have noticed there that Frankfurt is not growing in the direction I wanted to. You see, I mentioned in the last game I wanted it to, to grow towards iron. It's actually choosing this purple here. If I just chose the citizens citizen tab here, this purple is where it's grown. Unfortunately, you can't actually change that. In previous civs, I remember playing before, you could actually just select where you were where your border was growing. You know, out of all these tiles, you could select that. Um, the only way that I'll be able to get that iron tile, you know, it it the computer will expand to this wheat tile in nine turns it may then it probably will then pick the iron tile the turn after that but it may also pick this production tile and um, so if i want that sooner rather than later i might end up buying it as i have done before but now that i've just spent my money on that builder i can't actually afford to buy this right now but i'll be fine for that you know with the extra gold from Lady Six Sky, I'm now getting 13 uh, gold per turn. So that'll actually come in clutch her uh, her offer for that of that gold, because it'll mean I can I can build this buy this iron tile a lot sooner than I otherwise would be able to. And um, so I'm just going to bounce on through here another turn, producing a water mill here, building hanging gardens here, which. Um, Hopefully I'll get only four turns away from getting it now, so it's it's becoming increasingly likely that I'll get it as opposed to some other sieve will will build it. Um, this scout is coming in here. 
to my capital, so I'm going to bring back that slinger to help defend this. Mm, builder is going to sit there temporarily. I'm going to put him to sleep so that he doesn't annoy me for a couple of turns. I'm going to settle this, set this guy on top of this iron tile to make sure nobody else stands on top of it. So again, right, five turns in. Five turns to do something about this terrible loyalty problem I have. So, if you look at... Well, no, we'll discuss it next turn. Neither of them there. Research then. Iron working. About to build an iron mine. So I will have to put one more turn into that. We'll see. Um, before I can get it. Petra wander. Petra desert. Now Petra is another wander. And it's built on desert tiles. And give you bonuses for desert tiles. If you look around. I don't really have any desert tiles around me. This this is desert. But... Um, you know, Ulm's not really reaching that, not properly. If I have a city, had a city built there, then Petra would be great. Um, you see here, plus two food, two gold, and one production on all desert tiles for this city. So it actually turns a desert, um, which is generally fairly shit. You know, if you look at it, there's desert tiles there with no production. Those desert tiles only have one production because they're in uh, in hills. Um, so generally, it's fairly, fairly crap, but... Petra would make a city sitting here be much better than it otherwise would be. Uh, for now, as mm, as I have so many horses, having horseback riding wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. Um, if I'm going to eventually be attacking people, um, which we're not there yet, but uh, as we as we build up here, if we sort out this loyalty in this city, then I'll maybe start to focus on pushing towards Spain a bit. For now, this. Ooh, a scout. Where will I send him? Have to send him over here. Want to see what's going on out there? Bring my slinger back. This guy has found a barbarian encampment, which I honestly have no interest in clearing. Although I kind of need to, I need to be able to get out in low water. We'll see if he attacks me. If he does, so so be it. Um. All right, water mill four turns. Hang gardens three turns. This guy. Okay, next turn. Next turn. Where are we moving? This guy's bound to be healed by next turn, the warrior. Okay, I'm just going to set him and camp him on the iron tile for now. So, this builder now is sitting in a, on a forest tile. Now, what you can do when you're sitting on a forest tile, it says here, remove feature woods, yield 70 production, removes wood from this, woods from this plot. Alright, so I'm 37. And um, that's went down, hasn't it? What has this selected? Um, I could do with production, but yeah, I can't do much about that. Okay, so I'm going to use this builder. And right now I'm 37 turns from building this government plaza. I'm going to use this builder, yield 70 production for the city. That gives you 70 production, but <laughs> it also... Um, it removes the woods from the tile, so that tile just turned from two food, one production, just to two food, because the wood's now gone. Now you'll notice immediately that I need to produce something new, and the reason for that is that the 70 production I got from that forest built this government plaza in full. So, Rebellion in four turns, if we look at it now, we can build something new. So... Did that help? Now, here's the question. Did that help my issue? Rebellion, rebellion. 40, so I'm still minus 20. Other effects, 8. So I now have an extra, where I have the plus 8 from the governor, I now have an extra plus 8 from the government plaza. If we mouse over this, yeah, it provides plus 8 loyalty per turn to this city and an increase of plus 1 to the adjacency bonuses. So... That has helped, but it's not completely going to solve the problem for me. It's just going to slow down how quickly this city flips. So if I look at some of these others, see if any of this actually helps me get more loyalty. Uh, audience chamber, they're far too far. It take far too long to actually get them. Price plus loyalty, loyalty per turn. So the monument gives us plus one loyalty per turn. So I'm going to work on that next. Um, I'm also then potentially going to, let's see how quickly this is, 
uh, 59 turns into a border growth. That's not great. That's not great. So I am going to upgrade a couple of these tiles to increase my production, and that'll help as well. This guy is finally healed. Okay. So we have now unlocked with that a uh, government plaza. We have now unlocked another government, um, another governor upgrade. Food, industrial. There's not much that gives you extra. I don't believe there's much that gives you extra loyalty. That's what I'm looking through here. Because ultimately, I really, really want this Magnus guy back at my capital. But for now. That's pretty good, Pingala. Increase, 15% increase in science and culture. So I'm going to appoint him. And I'm going to put him in my capital instead. And then if you look, well, in five turns then, it'll increase my science and my culture from the capital city by 15%. Which will be very noticeable, but right now my, my biggest predicament is this city is still flipping, even after building what I built there, the government plaza. So, natural disaster, that's always fun. Where's this? Is this Frankfurt just getting, it's only just placed and it's getting flooded in the next week. That's lovely. Send this scout out. Oh, we've discovered polar ice caps. Nice. Gonna attack this scout because why not? Right, okay, so. Building the government plaza has bought us a bit more time, if you look here. Um, rebellion in nine turns as opposed to the four turns that it was showing last turn. So, you know, it's it, we're getting there. I'm still hoping I can keep it. Um, I'm hoping with a couple of well-placed improvements. So I'm going to uh, improve here, and that will give me an extra production. And then this guy, 11 turns from growth. That is pretty per. So I would like him to use this tile, because that's by far the best instead of that one um, so that's an extra production so that'll reduce that down from 29 maybe to around 20 or so we'll see next turn um, nine turns nine turns to stop this from flipping next turn let's see what else we can do this guy will just sit in Munich for now if you look, uh, if I remember in the last episode I mentioned about the trader built in the road, you can now start to see this road that he is forming the whole way around here, um, the whole way around to my capital. And, you know, he'll eventually, high stories that's stairs. bad timing, um, he will will reach that and then he will return on the road, so he will, the whole way back to Frankfurt. Continually employed now, this is the hanging gardens that we have just built. Now, this will come in at a good time as well, actually, because if you a minute ago I was complaining about the new city ohm and its growth not being very good, well, hanging gardens here, um, it will help improve that. So generally, generally, there's a lot, a lot of wonders in the game, like like loads and loads, um, and they do a lot of varying, um, a lot of different variety in what they do, but this one. There's certain ones that'll be that you'll push towards in certain games, and, and other ones that you'll you'll never push towards. Um, depending on on what your play style is, but this one here increases growth with hanging gardens, increases growth by fifteen percent in all cities, uh, and plus two housing, in the capital. So that is nice. So that fifteen percent growth will, as I say, it's already taken two turns off my uh, my growth here, um, but I still need more production be great if we had some kind of better food tile here see what I can get this guy to upgrade plantations probably just money to be honest so I'm gonna build a, a, f a, um, a farm over here because we need food big time so I'll build that next turn hail this warrior and this guy can just keep exploring and there's some copper we haven't actually seen that before but that's just another resource Um, it's unlocked by bronze working uh, now, Munich, what do we want to do in Munich now that we have built our hanging gardens? Apadana, two envoys, uh, oracles for, for faith, I'm not big going into faith. Preserve. Heavy <laughs> chariot. Some units maybe, another builder, I mean Munich's eight. I'm going to build another builder because Munich is 8 population and I am, um, if you look at the citizens here, I'm working 8 tiles, but I've only upgraded, you know, I've upgraded that cattle, I've upgraded that spices, and I've upgraded that rice. Um, 
Knight of upgraded horses. I've upgraded, um, I've upgraded that amber, but I don't think I haven't upgraded these three that I'm working. I don't think I've upgraded that wheat. So I'm gonna make a make a builder, and he will sort that out for me. So he will. Um, so builder two turns really isn't that long at this stage. Two turns. If you look up here already, I've I've already got my fifty horses back. So I sold twenty oh, horses to your woman and to Lady Six Guy, and she's still giving me the money for it. But I I no longer have the the drawback of having given her, given her them. If it even was a drawback, because I wasn't using was not using them in the first place. So this guy, right? I'm going to build myself a farm, and that'll give me plus one food. Now what that's going to do? Well, I've messed with the citizens, so I'm going to have to go in here and tell them to work this tile because we need to grow this city. We need to grow this quick. Um, still not sure whether I'm going to keep it alive or not, or whether it's going to flip to Spain. Um, in seven turns. Well, I I keep saying flip to Spain. What it does is it flips to like a neutral city state first of all, and then if Spain keeps putting pressure on it, then it flips to Spain eventually. So it's not completely all lost. So it can come kind of neutral like Akkad and and Kumasi and Mexico here are. Um and uh, well, I say neutral, but I would be at war with them because they've uh, they've revolted on me, but. You still have a possibility, even if this does flip, if I want to create some military units and attack it and try and get it back before it flips to Spain, I will have that opportunity. For now, I'm going to put one turn into iron working because I know I need to put one more into that. Um, Frankfurt needs me to build something. What do we want to build in Frankfurt? No, ancient walls. We haven't done that yet. Loyalty. Horseman, heavy chariot. No, I'm not producing any units here. I don't need to. I could do. I can always do with more growth early on. To be honest, growth, um, and get the get that population up and going. And much like we did with the capital, get as high as possible. Then you work as many, um, as tiles as possible, and then your production is quite high. Because I think my my production right now in Munich Munich is quite high, and um, being able to produce a builder at this stage in two turns is nice. It's a uh, very useful. Um, now I have put that one turn into iron working. If you remember, I'm trying not to waste two turns of research here in iron working because once we build an iron mine, which we will eventually here, um, we will get that eureka. So instead of wasting those two turns, I am pushing towards using uh, using those two turns of research on something else. And to do, I'm just trying to choose what to do. Hansa, yeah, that would be good actually. So this is going to unlock the next district for us, the next district that I want, and this is a production district. Um, I'll discuss that more once I unlock it. As Germany, I actually have a unique product production di district. Um, so mine's called Hansa, but if, if you're playing this or playing alongside this, yours will most likely be called the Industrial Zone. Now, I am fairly undecided at the minute. You know, the last last episode or two episodes ago, I had ten different things to make. Now I'm not so sure. I'm gonna go for do 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 an encampment, so we can dis discuss that. So what the encampment is is it is the military district, and what this does is give you gives you extra production. Um. If you look here at a district near city for military facilities, it gives you one great general point per turn, which is to do with great people. I haven't delved into that yet, but I will. Um, so that's good, and uh, ultimately a great general helps with combat. That's what he does. Um, and so I'm going to be fairly war based in this one, fairly um, fairly warmongering, should I say? And um, so great general points is good, and, and getting a great general will be handy. Um, but as I say, I'll, I'll delve into great people more in the future. The citizen yields them um, per citizen plus two gold and a plus one production, plus one production per citizen is fantastic. Uh, cannot be adjacent to a city center. Also, what the encampment does is I just discussed before about the. 
uh, when you build city walls around a city then your city can all of a sudden actually shoot at enemies you don't need to have a troop in your city it's just your your towers and walls that are firing if you build an encampment it can do the same thing so sometimes it can be you can place an, an encampment in a very strategic place i'm not doing it so much here i'm just placing it in a in a tile with fairly fairly shit yield but if i was placing an encampment up here which i probably will do if i manage to save this city uh, i would be placing it somewhere around here and um, probably here and that would mean if spain was coming to attack me they would be coming up here and they would have to take my encampment or move around my encampment before getting to the city and all the while the encampment is peppering them with with ranged attacks so um to say i, I probably i will try to do that if i can um but we'll see i have to save this city first i think i'm doing a munich here is i'm building a farm on this uh wheat tile to give me extra yield and um, that era score that just come up actually just mentioned me something that or reminded me of something that i didn't mention before when you discover or when you um go through a natural disaster and if you remember probably in episode one after i placed this city i got a couple of floods in this land so those floods have actually caused me to get greater yields on these tiles and um, now the the research yield is coming from my edam and enki this uh this wonder that i built but there's extra yields on these like that's four food two production a uh, tyler um increased by the rice but also increased by the flood then and this is the same this is increased by the wheat but it's also increased by the flood and if you look at some of these tiles that flooded they generally have like a, this one or most of them are all actually upgraded but this one isn't two food two production and if you look over here these you know that's only two food that's one food that's one production so it's the flood that has helped um increase the yields of these tiles so uh, annoying as the flood was when i come into munich it's actually going to be really really handy because it's it's increasing um it's making munich a better city ultimately it just uh, destroyed some stuff in the first instance but then once i repaired it if you remember it destroyed my upgrade on my amber resource here but once i've repaired that then i'm actually getting the benefits of it now so okay looking at population so this is stagnant now that's not ideal for a city that i am trying to grow so why are you stagnant you're stagnant food plus 3.14 right you're stagnant because of the unrest rebellion in five turns that isn't ideal i needed that to grow um really needed that to grow so if that's not growing i also got no production right in order to build loyalty 20 20 it's falling minus four so all i need is another four another four to bring that up now how would i get four can i buy something buy a tile no point buying a tile mm, there's a point buying a tile actually if i bought that tile destroyed that forest it would build a monument but that only gives me plus one um where is my builder actually is he gone i upgraded that and he disappeared yeah i yeah, know i upgraded that upgraded that so i used all three charges okay me is gonna have to mess around with my civics i think um i know i looked in the last time but i might have unlocked something more that will actually let me um let me increase my my loyalty in my city housing gold Mm -hmm. not plus two loyalty per turn for cities with a garrison unit that's what i've been waiting on unlocking so that is huge and right now because i'm not really i'm not really fighting barbarians anymore actually i was gonna say i'm not really production producing units but i'm certainly not really um fighting barbarians so i'm gonna take that plus two loyalty because i already have a garrison unit i have a garrisoned archer in that city so that's going to give me plus two loyalty um which means i just have to find another two which i'm not going to do from civics so i'll confirm that um what i will get is i could send a builder up there so this guy that let's be honest munich now uh, munich's got insufficient immun amenities anyway so i'm going to send him up here 11 turns though let's see let's see um they should have might make it there what what you can do here with um with scouts i'm sort of getting sick of telling these guys what to do every turn you can hit automate exploration and these guys will run around and they'll explore everywhere they can 
um, which is useful, especially as you, you I enjoy the micromanaging, the scouting in the in the early game, and you've got very little to do. But now we're reaching a stage where um, I'm starting to get plenty to do each turn, and telling the scouts what to do every turn isn't ideal. So I am probably going to tell this guy to automatically explore next turn as well. Might as well. Um, now what they do do sometimes uh, is they run into barbs and they ultimately get themselves killed, which isn't great. But you know it's it's better. I'd rather take that risk than have to uh, have to micromanage them all the time, particularly if you have five or six run around the map at once. Now since we have built this, we now have added another few turns on the list so it's flipping in nine turns now we're getting so close you know falling minus two per turn all i want to do is get that city will fall to three cities um so we've got nine turns before it goes to zero city growth is at zero percent because of unrest so there's not much i can do about this until i sort out their happiness um and this warrior isn't going to be able to do much for me, but we'll we'll leave him here anyway. And I am going to try to get how much money do I have? If I could build something else here, it might uh, it might help matters. Ancestral hall. Nah, I'm not going to be able to rush that, am I? Plus four amenities and housing. Yeah, or oh, don't governor tile. I don't need any of those to be honest. What I do need is just the only thing is the monument, but that's still gonna be minus one per turn. <laughs> um so let's see, how long is this guy taking to come up here? He will be there in seven eight turns. Can we go to that maybe? Eight turns. And this will be flipped in eight turns, which is funny. What are you doing now, Lady Six Guy? You can fuck off unless you're gonna give me a magic button to give me extra loyalty. Do not approach my lands. All right, that's rude. I'm just scouting around them. Um, right. I don't think I'm gonna be able to pull out any more stops to keep this city. I don't think it's gonna be possible. What can I build? What can I buy? Um, I can. Purchase tile, that's not growing anymore, it's not doing anything anymore. Another builder, 280. Now we'll be a while off getting that. Um, <laughs> slowly lumbering towards the death of Ulm. Very slowly. If it just had a, if it, it, it if it had been able to grow just one turn, it might have uh, might have helped matters. Here's another flood, where's this coming into? Is my capital? It is. God, these Danube, these rivers love to flood near Munich. Um, right. Military training. Lovely. I'll take that. Mathematics, I'll take that too. Munich needs something to build, and I am going to build. I think I'm going to have to build another settler, to be honest. I can't. I don't want to, because this guy. Yeah, I'll not build any until I get back him back to Munich, because he's the one that stops the population from reducing when you create a settler. What I do need is I'm starting to be limited by amenities. Um, can I do anything to cure that? Now that I've built the encampment, just yes, I was talking about the encampment earlier, and I think I got uh, sidetracked. Now that I've built the encampment, it uh, builds you the. A military buildings then once it's placed so right now I have the option of a barracks or a stables those are mutually exclu exclusive so I can only pick one but one gives you extra combat experience for um, cavalry units one is for melee and ranged land units and um, so also so ultimately you end up having an encampment does as I said before it adds you production so it's good for your production cities but they're an, a must have in your military cities and generally you end up with a couple of them a couple of different cities that will uh, that will need an encampment and as I say if you maybe have a, a frontier cities on borders then if you can place an encampment in a smart place it can it can be a great defensive asset for a city for now, um, 
we're not going to find out whether this flips or not in this one because we're already at 29 minutes i do try and keep these videos underneath half an hour um so without further ado um thank you very much for watching and if you have any comments to make feel free to to let me know below and i'd be grateful if you could like and subscribe if you've enjoyed what you've been watching other than that enjoy your days wherever you are goodbye